hi my beautiful kings and queens welcome back to my channel so kings and queens today i am back with another word um so i hear the lord saying god says victory god says that you have already won the battle he says that you have already defeated your enemy i hear the lord saying in this season god is saying that you are about to overcome your circumstance he says that you are about to overcome that obstacle that you have been facing for I hear the Lord saying that you have already won that battle. He says tonight when you lay your head down, he says, he says for my child, he says, my child, you shall sleep in peace because you have already won that thing. God is saying that you have already defeated that enemy. You have already defeated that giant that has been in front of you. God is saying, just like David, God is saying that there is a Goliath standing in front of you. But God is saying he is going to give you that slingshot. God says that he has already given you that slingshot. He says all you need is a little pebble. He says, but that pebble is going to have some power behind it. God is saying when you pull that slingshot back, God is saying that you are about to defeat your enemy. He says when you sling that, he says that when you sling that slingshot, God is saying that that rock, that little pebble that he has given you, that, that little anointing, that power that he has given you, he says that it is going to to knock your enemy down he says that it is going to slay every giant that comes in your way god is saying all you need is a little bit of faith all you need is a little bit of power to defeat the enemy so deuteronomy 20 verse 4 says for the lord your god is the one who goes to fight for you against your enemies god says that he has already given you the victory god said it says for the lord your god is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you the victory god says that he has already given you the victory god says before you even he says before you even approach your opponent god is saying that he has already gone before you he said he is he has already fight that battle before you so God is saying, he says that that thing has already been presented to him. And he says that he has already slain that giant for you. He has already defeated that enemy for you. He has already, he said he has already condemned that, that spiritual warfare, that spiritual curse. So God is saying, he says that he is about to go before you in the presence of your enemies. And he says that he's about to slay the enemy before you even approach the, the, your opponent before you even approach the enemy god is saying that he has already defeated the enemy for on your behalf so kings and queens i don't know who this is for but god is saying that you have the victory he says that you have the power just as david did david was 411 and and goliath was a giant but god gave god gave david that anointing god gave david that power to defeat goliath so whatever obstacle that you are facing whatever battle that you are fighting right now god is saying that you have the he says you have the power to defeat it you have the power to overcome that thing i don't know what you are going through i don't know what battle you are facing i don't know what fight that is up in, in front of you but god is saying he says that if you just have that mustard seed of faith if you just believe that he is able god is saying that he will show you who he is god is saying that he will show you the power that you have inside of you he will show you the reason why you were created god is saying he said that you were already predestined you were already predestined before you were even formed in your mother's womb so god already knew the battles that you were going to face god already knew the 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 power that you were going to have. God is saying that the enemy is fighting you because you have this anointing. The enemy is fighting you because he knows the power that you hold in the kingdom. He says that the enemy doesn't fight just anyone. The enemy knows that there is a calling on your life. The enemy knows that, that God has favored you. So that is why he comes so hard. That is why the enemy comes at you so hard. But God is saying that he has given you that power to overcome that situation. He has given you the power to defeat the enemy enemy god is saying for he says that if you rebuke the enemy he says that the enemy will, will flee from you all you have to do is speak it out of your mouth and god says that the enemy will flee from you because you have god's anointing because you have god's power in you because your spirit is so powerful god is saying that once you speak it out of your mouth once you believe it in your mind god is saying that is when the enemy will flee from you because he knows that nothing that god has 
past. Nothing that God holds near and dear to him can be defeated. So God is saying that he has his hedge of protection around you. God is saying that they may come from every side, but God says there's a shield over you. He says there is a shield over your life. There's a shield over your anointing. And he says it's like a glass wall. I hear the Lord saying that your, your, your protection is like a glass wall. He says the enemy may think as though that he can get to you because the glass because there is a glass in front of you but God says when the enemy comes to attack that glass is your protection God's spirit is your protection God's anointing God's power is your protection I don't know who this is for but God is saying that once they attack they said God says that he's going to slay that giant once they attack God is saying that he is going to defeat that enemy I don't know who this is for kings and queens but you better receive this in your spirit God said to, he says that you must receive this word in your spirit you must feel it deep down in your soul that you have already won the victory god says that victory is yours god is saying that there is a glass that there is a glass in front of you anytime the enemy comes to defeat you anytime you're jealous the jealous naysayers come to you know to come to try to belittle you god is saying that there is always a protection over you he says the enemy cannot defeat you because you have god's armor on you so kings and queens i love you so much i don't know who this video is for but god is god told me to get this off of my chest so kings and queens i love you so much and i will be seeing you all in tomorrow's video and like i always say do not forget to like comment and subscribe bye my kings and queens